I'm going to murder it. Matus Prochinky. Prochinky? Isn't that what you like? Players on there? Yeah, you just... Hey, yep, it's me again. I'm back with another upload. I know, two in one week. It's quite odd, isn't it? But I'm going to try to go for three a week. So something like that. But anyways, into it. I want to do five tips on Photoshop to make it just easier for your life. So, so much easier. And pretty much I asked on my Instagram what sort of things you'd like to see from me. And, well, a guy called Count to Ten, his pop tech would just be about here, here-ish, yeah. Um, I'm not even going to try and say your name because I'm just going to murder it. But, yeah, his Instagram is Count to Ten, and pretty much he asked for tips on Photoshop. So I'm going to give you five, five of the tips that I think would be really, really good. I'm sorry, I'm keep on looking at my phone because my memory, I'm just like a goldfish. I'm probably going to cut that out, but I'll probably leave it in. Oh, yeah, I'll probably leave it in. So flick over onto the screen. So if we go up into my hard drive, we'll grab some images. I'll get this Brixton. Actually, we'll get this. Bentley. No, I'll go for this. Okay. So the first thing is called a brush pull out. Pull out. Really has come up with a better name than that. Brush quick pull? I don't know. I'm sorry. So if you ever you're trying to brush in on maybe a layer mask or something down here and you keep on coming up to the top changing the size coming back in changing the size coming back in changing the size so usually you'd come up here change it up here or you've got your right click and you change it here what if i tell you there's an easier way what would you do would you pay me money you probably wouldn't but yeah so if you hold Control alt in with your paintbrush then drag to the right it makes it bigger but then if you go up and down changes the hardness as well you're now looking at this screen like why have i never known that before it's the best thing ever especially if you're using brushes a lot with masks and all of that jazz but yeah up and down to do your hardness left and right for your diameter with control and alt probably the handiest thing ever if you're using a lot of masks Okay, that was number one. Number two. Okay, that was one tip. So, so handy. But then there's another one. There's, it's with selecting. There's so many different ways you can select. You've got your pen tool, your magic wand, everything like that. But there is another way. It's called quick mask. So instead of using your pen tool, you might not be you might not be really really um, good with the pen tool don't worry a video is going to come out soon i've got you but yeah quick mask is one of my favorites so you can literally press q on your keyboard and again look, your brush that you've just learned and you can literally just paint what you want in see use your brush again use your, use your brush again so you can quickly that's why it's called quick mask quickly select I know this is really, really rough, but it's quick. So there we go, you can just color this in. Color it all in. Do -do 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 -do. Probably gonna speed this up because it's really long. And then you press Q again. Hey presto, you've got a selection. It's brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. So if you really wanna you really want to select something quickly, smack you, give it a paintbrush, use my other little tip with control and alt, and you can select so, so much easier. But also, another tip with quick mask is Q again. You can hold shift down, you can do straight lines as well. So with shift, so you can get really, really neat lines. But then also with your bucket tool, I've completely forgotten the keyboard shortcut for bucket. 
Is it B? It's not B. How have I forgotten this? Where is it? Ah, oh, it's G. God damn it, G. So you can fill it in as well. So you can get it really, really quick. And then obviously Q again, bang, your selection's done. So it's another alternative to your pen, your magic wand, all of that thing. If you just quickly need to get something in there, smack Q, give it a paintbrush, Bob's your uncle, you're done. Awesome. Number three, dodge and burn is one thing I use a lot, a serious amount with shadows and highlights and stuff like that. But people coming into Photoshop, uh, beginners, uh, even like, amateur pros that sort of thing they work really destructively and what i mean by destructively is they will make a stamp of their work and then they'll go in and they'll dodge and burn it dodge 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 get a bit of burn in there as well i would do a little bit of burn but my computer this is going to be an occurring thing isn't it every week my computer is going to be like nope alex don't want you to film, don't want you to use Photoshop, bugger off and do something else. Come on, you can do it, there we go. So we'll just burn this here, burn this here. And that, that's it, it's on a solid layer and you can't really go back to it. You have to erase it and it's, it's just not good. You, you can't do that. So how I work is non-destructively. So it's called something called a 50% gray layer. So we'll get rid of this layer and we'll make a new layer. New layer, by the way, is Command Shift N. If you want to know that, we'll come here to Mode. We're going to put this to Overlay, and then it will give you this box here: Fill with Overlay Neutral Color 50% Gray. Click that, click OK, and you've got this gray layer just here. Now you can go in. What we'll do? We'll put this to Normal. You can select this color for future watch this put this back to overlay then it goes clear god i've got such an itchy nose jeez <laughs> all right anyways so we can grab our dodge tool and see we can dodge away to our heart's content dodge 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 and then we can burn as well Come on, don't be, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. There we go. And we can burn, burn all the shadows in. Oh yeah, making that Audi look really, really nice. But then we can see that grey you selected earlier. You can paint over it and it goes back to normal. So you're not working destructively. You've just got it on this layer. You can turn on and off and you can revert back as well. Or you can even use a mask on that. So you can just use it normally and just paint back what you don't want. And it's just there. It hasn't messed up your workflow at all. And it just really keeps your layers nice and clean. And you can revert back to it at any point instead of having that big stamped layer with loads of dodging and burning on, but you just can't do anything with it. So, yeah, gray layer. I'll quickly show you again. That is Shift, Command, N. And you go from Mode overlay click this little box here and you've got grayler that is it how simple is that chuck a mask on it keep on going back and forth sorted okay so number three i get asked a lot when i'm live streaming my edits and stuff like that is how do i get all my images up on the screen at once so it's good for checking color checking if they all match that sort of thing so let me open up another couple of images Let's just open these up. Insert SpongeBob time card. Two like every other video you do, Alex. Later. Six and a half <sighs> hours later. A few inches later, day two. And I'm just showing you images that I probably shouldn't be able to show you, but Stuart, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we've got our three images open. And we want to see them side by side instead of flicking through like, mm, yeah, that sort of matches. Uh, yeah, that sort of matches. Come up to here, go up to window. And you go to a range. And you go, you can either have it vertically. We can have it your horizontal. I usually have it vertically and then just zoom out a little bit. So now they're all like this. 
but then you can just zoom out command little slash thing hyphen I think that's the word near your delete key so we just hyphen that out a little bit so it goes smaller and then it will centralize and there we go you can see all of your images together so you can see if they match they all look good like my one on the left is too blue so i need to bring it bring some blues out put some greens in and sort out the contrast because it's really dark compared to the right one so just then that quickly you can really see what you need to change within your images and it's just good to see your images together because obviously if you're posting to instagram like most of us do or facebook they will be sitting next to each other so they have to really match or at least tonally match insert new video here where i teach you how to tonally match i have to plug because it's a thing youtubers do isn't it um but yeah on to the fourth this is a very handy one so i know a lot of people like to layer up work or if they cpl stack or exposure stack stuff like that so maybe you've shot an image and you haven't used a tripod and your images don't line up but you need them to line up because you want to layer them up so what we can do is i'll select two images these ones here we'll open these up open these up Why have I opened them like that? I never open images like that. Why have I done that? Okay, this might turn into like six, seven tips at this rate. So I'm just gonna Command A, Control C, and just paste it on top of here with Command V. So if on my top layer, if I change, change my layer style just here to difference, it's black, my screen is black. That means my layers are completely they are completely layered up properly. There's no movement in there at all. So if I move this a tiny bit, can you see there's white? There's white and it just doesn't match up. You can see if I line up, zoom in, you can see my wheels out of line, my headlights out of line. So if I drag this in, you can see it getting more and more black. So the more black in the image, the closer your image is to being lined up. So that's very, very close. So then you use your arrow keys. And we'll just move this around until it lines up properly. So you can always look into gaps so you can see which way you have to go. Obviously I have to go down. And there you go, that is a fully lined out image. So it's lined up, it's perfect. I can lay a mask and there won't be any ghosting or anything like that. It will just be perfectly laid up and nice. Bosh, that's number four done. There we go, get on to number five. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Wait, my counting's really bad, isn't it? That is five, I've done five. I can't count to five, how depressing. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let's so recap. We've got our brush pull out. We have got our quick mask. We've got our window opening, which is so, so handy. We've got our difference in layering. So you can layer up nicely. So your masks work perfectly. And we've also got the key one, the dodge and burn. So you're not working destructively because working destructively sucks and it's just cost you so much time trying to go back on images, trying to work out which layer it's from and stuff like that. But I hope you've managed to follow along to this because I haven't, as you can tell, I'm awful at this sort of thing. I needed post-it notes on my screen or something like that. But if you like this sort of just choppy edit, sort of knowing what I'm doing, I, I promise I do know what I'm doing, but I sort of do ish but yeah there will be more videos and i'm going to try and upload about three times a week so maybe one tutorial and maybe having someone else on i know mo if you're watching this you've done that on your channel and all credit goes to that absolute god 
but it's such a good idea I may have to steal it and maybe like a speed edit Sunday or something like that because I know a lot of people learn a lot from those speed edits of watching me edit it like 300 times so um yeah that's enough from me if you're not subscribed subscribe if you want to follow me on instagram hopefully a pop tag comes up here that's my instagram and well thank you to counter 10 who suggested this sort of video i'm always asking for suggestions on my instagram i'm a lot more lively on instagram than i am on youtube so yeah i'll see you over on instagram i hope you enjoyed and well um for all that really, really cool outro, well, intro, outro, it took me ages to make, but yeah, bye.